Hello. In this video, we're going to look at how to find the midpoint of a line segment. Um, one thing I want to say before going on is that often when you're learning these concepts, people think that the, the, the learned idea is only applicable to this one case. However, when these concepts are taught, the, the same thinking can be applied to more complex cases. So for example, if you've learned system of equations, chances are you learned how to solve a system of two linear equations. Well, it turns out the thinking there can be extended to three unknowns, four unknowns, um, to any number of unknowns. The reason we pick these more, these, simplif these simpler examples or cases is because it's easy to grasp the concept. So in this video, I'm showing you how to calculate the midpoint of a line segment. But when you're done, what you could try and do is figure out the formula to find um, the points on a line that break it up into three even parts, or four even parts, or n even parts. So with that in mind, let's begin. So our formula is right here, um, and we're going to start by looking at an example. So let's pretend we knew nothing about this formula, and I said to you, can you please find for me the midpoint of this green line? Now you could probably very quickly say, well, the midpoint is obviously right here. And then the discussion would come, well, how did you figure that out? And you might say then, well, let me turn this into a right angle triangle. If I do that, what I, what I know is that if I want to find the midpoint on this line, I could travel half the distance of, of the horizontal component. And I could travel, so let's come up to there. And I could travel half the distance of the vertical component. So I can come to there. And in doing so, I could then figure out what that, how to get to that point. So if we look here, we know the horizontal distance is, is 4, so half the distance is 2. The vertical distance is 2, so half the distance is 1. So to get to this point, and let's call this point M, I'm going to travel 3 across and 2 up. So the midpoint is at 3, 2. Now that's great if the example is, is very clear and you can read it off very nicely, but what happens if one of these lengths weren't, weren't nice integers, they didn't divide nicely? Then it becomes a little more tricky. Also, what if I didn't want to draw a picture? What if this was a word problem? So this is, in these cases, we want to come up with a general case. So let's scroll down here. I'm going to scroll all the way down here and let's look at this grid I've kind of set up. So let's draw a line on it. We're going to put a point here, and I'm going to put a point here, and let's connect those. Now what we're going to call this point here is we're going to call this point here x1, y1. We're going to call this point up here x2, y2. Okay. So what I know is that the midpoint is going to be right in the middle of this, and we're going to call that midpoint m. And we know m has an x component, let's call it xm, and a y component, we'll call that ym. So I'm going to break this, this derivation up into two parts. I'm going to figure out how to figure out the x component, and then I'm going to figure out the y component. So before, up above, what we said is, well, we can actually take this line and we can drop a line so it it's perpendicular with the x-axis, and we can draw a line across so it's perpendicular with the y-axis, and what we end up generating is a right angle triangle. And we know that this point right here is going to be x2, y1. Okay. So then the question comes, well, we said if we travel half the distance, uh, half the horizontal distance, we're going to hit the midpoint. And if we travel half the vertical distance, we're going to get to the midpoint. So my question comes, what is the length right here? Well, it turns out we've already done the length of a line segment. And we remember that the length of a line segment is going to be, for a horizontal case, is going to be x2 minus x1 over 2. So this distance from here to here is going to be x2 minus x1 over 2. And that's the distance from here to here. 
Now this is where some thinking in space comes in. I want to travel from my origin all the way across to this point here. So if we just drop down. So my question then comes, well if I want to travel from here to here, how far do I have to travel? Well, I need to first travel the distance from here to here, and then I need to travel the remaining distance. So if I know the distance from the origin to this first point here is x1, and we know the distance from here to here is x2 minus x1 over 2, we can simply add x1 plus this together. So therefore the midpoint is equal to x1 plus x2 minus x1 all over 2. You see how we did that? So again, let's just recap. There's a lot of x's and y's on here. So we're just focusing on the horizontal right now. So the idea is the midpoint is here, and I want to travel from the origin to this point. We know that to get to the midpoint, we travel half the distance of the horizontal component for this line segment. So we already know how to figure out the, the horizontal length. The horizontal length is going to be x2 minus x1. So half that distance will be x2 minus x1 over 2. So if I know the distance from here to here is x2 minus x1 over 2, if I want to travel from the origin to that midpoint, it's going to be x1 plus x2 minus x1 over 2. Which we have up there. And this is not nice looking, so let's actually take this. We'll get a common denominator. So we do that. So then therefore, we're going to have 2x1 plus x2 minus x1 all over 2, which is going to give me x1 plus x2 all over 2. And there we go. So now I need to find the y. M. So this is the exact same thinking, but now we're going to deal with the y components. So I need to travel from here to here. From, from y1 up to the y midpoint. Well, we can figure out the length of this en entire vertical component. That's going to be y2 minus y1. And again, if we want half of that, we simply divide it by 2. So now I need to travel from the origin up to the midpoint. So, the, so I have to travel from the, y, the x axis up. So the distance from here to here is going to be y1. So therefore, to travel from the x axis up to that midpoint, it's going to be y1 plus y2 minus y1 over 2. So therefore we get, let's actually change our color here, y1 plus y2 minus y1 over 2. And with the same simplification process, we're going to get y1 plus y2 over 2. And now we have the midpoint formula. And the midpoint formula is x1 plus x2 over 2, y1 plus y2 over 2. And that is where the midpoint formula comes from. Now, before closing off, I just want to say this, all these numbers can be a little confusing. So really take, take your time and go through it. Um, it's perfectly normal to be a little overwhelmed by all these X and Y's, but one thing I like to remind all my students, letters are more scared of you than you are of them. So really take some time and dig your teeth into this, talk with your peers, because if you can understand where this comes from, you can figure out all sorts of other great formulas. I hope that helped.